Hi there. In this video, I want to take a look at the subdivide tool. And uh, I also want to compare it with the subdivision surface tool and see what the, the difference might be. So I'm just going to select both of these while holding shift and tab into edit mode and tab A to select everything and just right click and subdivide. And you can see that every quad turns into four quads and every triangle turns into four triangles. And we can increase the number of cuts like two, three and four. And we can increase this all the way up to 10. And if we want more than 10, we can type here and type a higher num number. Uh, we can type 100 if we would like to. In this case, I will be um, I'll type 2. We can go and change the smoothness here. That will uh, smooth out and create more of a sphere-like object from that uh, subdivision. Uh, these two next settings, we're going to skip for now. and We're going to look at them just a little bit later. The fractal will create some random movement and the along normal will uh, straighten those um, fractals a little bit so they just go up and down rather than from side to side. You can see the difference there. And the random C will uh, just determine different randomness values that is used to uh, uh, create the random effect there. So I'm just gonna select these and go back to zero. Same with the smoothness right there. And actually, I'm going to tab into object mode and uh, we'll delete this cube for now and create a new new cube here. I'll just press G to move this just right beside this icosphere. I will delete this that as well. We'll look at that later. Now we'll tab into edit mode again here and go to edge select and select these two edges. And I want to subdivide. I uh, notice here that this create n-gon will uh, determine if we create n-gons or triangles from these um, faces here that's actually becoming uh, n-gons as we create this extra vertex here on the top. And this quad corner type is only in effect when we have uh, edges selected like this and it will determine how this face will turn out. So if I take path, for instance, we get this kind of uh, pattern. Straight cut will just make this cut. And fan will look like this. Now, if we go to straight cut, you'll see that we have um, five corners here on this face, or five vertices, I should say, or actually the same. And that is the only um, only alternative here that will uh, create an n-gon or possibly create an n-gon. All the other ones will uh, stick to quads or triangles for this, like this one, for instance. So just keep that in mind. Also, when uh, sometimes this can be a bit tricky, of course, now we have uh, triangles here. But if we select this and subdivide and we let these be, um, let these be n-gons here, and we select this one and subdivide, we might think that uh, these should be uh, divided into triangles, but since they are already n-gons, um, this tool or this checkbox here doesn't apply because it only applies if this current operation creates an n-gon, it won't create an n-gon. If it's already an n-gon, it will stay an n-gon. All right. I'll just uh, tab out to edit or object mode here now and delete this cube. Shift C to bring back the curse to the center. Shift A, I'll bring in another icosphere here. Shift D, grab Y and duplicate that and move it along the Y axis. Now I want to add a subdivision surface modifier here, this one. And I want to put it so simple. And with this axisphere, I just want to tab into edit mode and subdivide it. Uh, on this axisphere here, I want to apply this subdivision. Now notice that this one had an applied subdivision surface. And this one, we used the tool 
uh, to create uh, extra geometry, but they both still look the same. If I shift select both of them and tab into edit mode, you can see that the subdivision by the tool and by the modifier is uh, very different. The same kind of geometry is great, by the way, if we use the subdivision surface with the, the default uh, mode here of Cotton and Clark, but it will smooth it as well. But uh, the geometry will still be the same. So in this case, uh, the subdivision surface creates quads. Every, th every time you use this modifier, all of your faces will turn into quads. With the tool, however, uh, triangles will stay triangles and quads will generally stay quads unless you uh, create angles with it. Um, and you saw that example with the cube before how that can happen. All right, so that's kind of the, an overview of the subdivision tool. Um, and I hope you found it interesting and useful. And if you're interested in more edit mode tools, you can just check the link in the description to one of I, my articles that I've written on edit mode tools. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like to if you like to see more content. <laughs> okay, bye.